I wonder if you think that's appropriate that intelligence services were paying somebody? And then secondly is, apparently Cana the Canadian government and the British government has basically conspired to cover up this information for the last five years, and that must concern you. Uh, obviously, we know we live in a particularly dangerous world. Uh, the fight against terrorism requires our intelligence services to continue uh, to be flexible and to be creative in their approaches, but every step of the way, they are bound by strict rules, uh, by principles and values that Canadians hold dear, including around the Charter of Rights and Freedoms, uh, and we expect that those rules be followed. Um, I know there are uh, questions about uh, certain uh, incidents or, or operations of the past, and uh, we will ensure to, uh, uh, to follow up on those. Next question. Uh, good morning, Prime Minister Paige Parsons with CBC News. Um, to follow up on David's question, are you concerned about whether our intelligence agency, which does not have formal overseas remit, went too far in recruiting an ISIS facilitator and then covering it up? And will you commit to a full accounting of what happened? Um, our intelligence services are subject uh, to rigorous rules uh, and principles that they need to abide by, including uh, upholding the values, the principles, uh, the laws of Canada. Um, and there are rigorous oversight mechanisms that are in place that with the clearances necessary to look into uh, the operations and the decisions taken by intelligence services in their work to keep Canada and Canadians safe in a very dangerous world. Um, we will continue to ensure that that proper oversight uh, is done and uh, as necessary uh, look at further steps uh, if, uh, if necessary.